Hey everyone, Green Terrence Valor Ridge. The purpose of this video today is to talk and ask the question, are you well regulated? Let's go ahead and get started. Guys, uh, I just got done running, a little out of breath, it's a cold, damp day out here in East Tennessee, and I can tell you that cold, damp air when you're running really get your heart rate up and really uh, get your cardio going. Before I even begin on that, uh, I wanna give a congratulations to a couple of people in my life that are uh, amazing friends. Uh, first and foremost, David Cagle, congratulations. He just graduated from uh, infantry school in the Army and he's beginning a workup for a deployment. Uh, young guy, uh, police officer, good friend, awesome shooter. Congratulations to him on uh, graduating yesterday from Fort Benning. Uh, another shout out I'd like to give is to one of my best friends that I've known for, you know, right now over uh, 20 years. And that'd be First Sergeant Marines Keola Lee. Uh, awarded the bronze star yesterday after uh, a nice career he's uh, coming up very quickly on on his uh, discharge retirement uh, after 24 years in the marine corps so congratulations to those guys what i want to talk about in this video guys is <clears throat> when it comes to proficiency with firearms and whether that's pistol rifle any other uh, firearm that you want to use our founders expected firearms ownership in this country to be coupled with proficiency and discipline and good training and although private ownership of firearms is completely separate from the Second Amendment, we have a God-given right to that, uh, when it comes to uh, use and wielding of firearms in the United States for defense of your nation or your state or your community, the founders expected people to know how to use them and be accurate. Uh, I ran on this drill right here, and I'll put that uh, description in the description box below on what that course of fire is. Uh, rifle I use is iron-sided uh, Colt. It's just iron, it's regular 55 ball ammo. Uh, this is my primary training rifle. I use this in class. A lot of our students have seen me use this this rifle, and I do for the vast majority of my of my practice with irons uh, to incorporate those reference points and get repeatable results. And you can get performances like this. So you get your heart rate up 100 yards, uh, standing, kneeling, prone. Uh, this kind of shooting that you can do, it's boringly repeatable. We do this week after week after week. And I've covered a lot of drills like this. I just have a third book uh, that I wrote. It's called The Well-Regulated, Honing the Edge in Oneself and Others. And what this is about is about shooter development, uh, helping you get better as a shooter on pistols and rifles. There's really not a narrative from front to back like it was in Pistol Crafter and the American Rifleman. What this book is, is a daily reader or a reference guide uh, with various articles on different topics. Like I said, we've got articles on pistols, rifles. We've got articles on American history, uh, factors of the American Revolution, Patriots, Tories, uh, the role of government, uh, tributes to guys that have helped me along the way. I can tell you on a personal note that I don't take writing a book lightly and having this be my third one, I didn't even consider training people or I didn't even consider writing a book until I had the adequate and proper life experience and training experience and uh, experience with the use of deadly force and, and, and going into harm's way. I didn't even consider wanting to train people or even help people until I had all those areas and the ability to teach. And writing a book was even more of a serious thing because the vast majority of the people that buy the books don't come to class, which is fine. But what I'm telling you guys is <clears throat> when it comes to writing a book, I know that in my uh, previous uh, years, when I was younger, less experienced, less mature, uh, I know that it was the older guys that really had a big impact on me. Um, you know, guys like Chuck Taylor, who's now passed away, but uh, guys like Jeff Cooper, guys like Louis Auerbuck, um, guys like, you know, who are retired now, guys like Bill Jeans, you know, these guys, these, these, these had some good wisdom to pass on. And so what I try to do in my books is learn all the important stuff I learned from them and combine the stuff that, I, that I've learned over the years and, uh, and put that in there. See, uh, younger folks may not uh, realize, especially in this climate today, you know, this climate of, uh, the know-it-all younger people, and it's not just the younger people, it's all, sometimes the older folks do too, but you guys gotta realize that we're living in one of the most disrespectful times in American history where people don't even know how to talk to each other. Uh, the older guys were, uh, were quite professional, um, try to uh, emulate that. Um, sometimes, you know, we gotta look at, at those that came before us for some wisdom, and, and a lot of their wisdom is in the books that I've written. Uh, and this book is, is kind of my way of uh, paying some things forward that I've learned along the years. You know, something as simple as this drill, my buddy Paul Howell uh, uh, gave to a lot of people. And by the way, he wrote the foreword to the well-regulated. So combat shooting and tactics, just an amazing guy. Um, great people out there. But when we look at uh, at books, they're good for reference. Um, I do it in paperback 
and in Kindle. I know some people like the Kindle. They like to have the electronic device. Other people want the paperback, something you can keep. And um, when, when we do that, guys, we have that, that reference. We have that knowledge that uh, we can use and reference. So I'm very proud of this one. It took me the better part of a year, maybe longer than that, actually, working on it because I wrote a lot of the stuff many years ago and compiled it together. So I'm very happy about this one. Uh, you can order it. The link is in the description box below. Uh, but remember, reading books, uh, watching videos, that's not a substitute for getting hands-on instruction, you know, uh, at, a, at a good training outfit. And uh, we certainly would enjoy having you out here in 2023. Our schedule's up, but uh, a lot of classes are already sold out. So I would recommend getting in while you can. And we look forward to meeting you guys. And I hope that you found the information in the video helpful. If you did, please remember to subscribe and follow me on social media. That link is in the description box below, as are the links to the books. And if you want to come get some training on your pistol, your rifle, coming out to Valor Ridge, we can help you. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.